Hey everybody, Jim the Giant here, and uh, today I'm going to be responding to one of Jason Blaha's uh, latest videos. Normally I really like his content, so I'll link it down below, so go check it out. But today I think he made quite a few mistakes, so let's see what he has to say. And what people wanted to know is why are apes so much stronger than humans and without even weight training is like it doesn't make sense if okay so straight off the bat we have a loaded question people try to answer this question without first actually challenging and examining the underlying assumption that apes in fact are massively stronger than humans they attempt to answer the why without actually <laughs> trying to establish whether the question is in fact valid uh, furthermore you've got to ask the question strong at what uh, so, yeah, we're, of course, specialised at different things than uh, chimpanzees are and that gorillas are. And one way that uh, great apes tend to be a hell of a lot stronger than us is in pulling strength. They've got, uh, well, upper body pulling strength to be specific. Uh, they are going to have very strong biceps, very strong backs, etc. Because they spend uh, an awful lot of their time climbing through trees and they need to be able to pull themselves up. They need to be able to swing and pull. And of course, that's going to need, um, need a nice strong back. It's going to need nice strong um, biceps. And in that way, yeah, they, um, yeah, they really do massively outclass us you'd expect them to be able to do pull-ups with one arm as easily as a well-trained person is going to be able to do pull-ups with two arms because they're so adapted to that environment. But beyond that, I really don't think that uh, apes do have this superhuman level of strength and I haven't seen any evidence to um, and I haven't seen any evidence to show that they do. We're that closely related. We have similar muscle structures, similar skeletal structures. Why can an untrained female chimpanzee who weighs 120 pounds deadlift eight, 900 pounds without any training? Uh, a big silverback male gorilla, you know, he only weighs twice as much as a big competitive bodybuilder, but can probably deadlift triple what he can. A gorilla that size, a fully grown silverback gorilla who's weighing over 400 pounds, can probably, if he had to, could probably pull 3,000, 4,000 pounds of force. Now, there is this myth that uh, apes are five to eight times stronger than humans. This myth comes from a study in 1923 testing the pulling strength of chimpanzees. And, you know, famously, one of the, um, one of the female chimpanzees managed to pull over 800 pounds of force with one arm. Um, now there's a couple of problems with this. First of all, it's only testing um, upper body pulling strength. And secondly, those results haven't been verified by later tests. Uh, it's been um, tested a couple of times since then. So I would guess that either there was a problem with the equipment or the results were just flat out fabricated. I haven't seen any photo evidence or anything like that. Uh, I've had a bit of a look. So yeah, I'd guess that those results were just um, flat out wrong. Later tests have shown that um, haven't been able to replicate this. There's uh, one which showed that chimpanzees had about the same pulling strength as, uh, as your average gym goer. But you know, these gym goers were about twice the weight of the chimpanzees. And, like I said near the beginning of the video, that's about what I'd expect from looking at their behaviour and what they've evolved to do. As for lower body strength, the only study which I'm aware of was testing the vertical leaps of uh, bonobos versus humans. They found that the bonobos could vertical leap about 70 centimetres, whereas the humans were leaping about 30 to 40 centimetres. Um, so there's a few issues with this being trumped to some sort of triumph of ape strength. Uh, firstly, the uh, vertical leap isn't a purely lower body motion. You get your back into it, you get your arms into it, and you know, I'd quite frankly expect animals evolved for climbing trees to be able to jump up and reach branches which are above their heads. Also. Uh, humans have about the same power output. They weigh about twice as much, and they're about twice as crap at jumping. So, yeah, the humans were about comparable to the bonobos in that regard. 
and those petite people I don't think could be particularly well trained um, you know and someone who spends their day sitting on a couch making fucking YouTube videos <laughs> like uh, us in a modern age yeah we're probably not going to be too great at jumping but you know, our ancestors who spent time uh, hunting and chasing shit down, they'd probably do a fair bit better than us. And even me, and you know, I'm not trained in vertical leaping at all, I, I can still jump up and reach a basketball net, which is about 70 centimetres over my head. And the vertical leap record is over 150 centimetres. So, yeah, well-trained people can outperform the um, can outperform the bonobos in that kind of test. Now, as for deadlift strength, yeah, our arms tend to be a bit shorter than the other great apes, and they do have an advantage in that regard. But I think that humans would beat uh, apes pound for pound when it comes to picking heavy shit up and carrying it, and carrying heavy shit on our backs just by looking at our behaviour and what we've evolved to do. You know, we've evolved to be able to, you know, pick up, lo um, pick up logs and pick up heavy stones, carry kids on our back, um, you know, make buildings and con do construction and that kind of thing. We are pretty damn specialised when it comes to those tasks. How, you know, even look at elephants. Yeah, you can put tonnes of weight on their back, but they can only pick up and carry about 270 kilos with their trunk. And you know, world's strongest man competitors are nearly twice as strong as elephants in that regard. And even construction workers, decent construction workers, they are, you know, their strength is comparable to elephants when it comes to the task of picking heavy shit up and moving with it. So, I mean, yeah, I could be wrong. It hasn't actually been tested. But just looking at the behaviour of us versus great apes and what we've evolved to do, I think that we'd stand a very, very good chance of beating them in this regard. And I certainly don't see any reason to believe that a hundred pound female chimp can just deadlift seven times her fucking body weight. That seems just absolutely mental to me. And I haven't seen anything um, to show that uh, it could even be a possibility. Well, one factor is definitely going to be the fact that we are an endurance-oriented, not a power-oriented species, but that's a topic of a whole other video. I really want to cover that later, too. I think that's interesting from a sports perspective uh, and an anatomy perspective for us to look at. Humans are really one of the most specialized and unique species on Earth, and that's the reason we've been so successful. But there's some, some other factors going on. That's just one of them has to do with our fiber distribution and leverages. There's other factors, though. So, yeah, I completely disagree with that. Um, yeah, we do have a few specializations, such as uh, our mind, our ability to manipulate things with our hands, our ability to carry things uh, whilst being on two legs. They are pretty heavy specialisations, but we are pretty damn good all-rounders. How we even have differentiation of labour, which is pretty unique to us, and our evolution is going to reflect that somewhat. We need people which are very, very good at a very wide array, or a wide array of mental and uh, physical tasks. Um, now, even if we were these pure endur um, endurance hunters, like you seem to think uh, that uses a massive amount of calories and so of course we have to go after game which is uh, far bigger than ourselves if we're going to employ that tactic. Uh, um, creatures 10 times our size, 20 times our size, hell even 100 times our size when it came to things like the woolly fucking mammoth. And well, after we managed to kill those things, we then had to find a way of getting that big fucking thing back to the rest of our tribe or colony, and that did need to use a pretty massive amount of strength. So even if we were these endure um, pure, um, these really specialised endurance hunters, we still need that specialisation in strength in order to move that thing back, which very few other animals would have to do. Very few animals hunt things uh, that much bigger than themselves. Uh, the only other thing, that, you know, some very specialised insect, um, um, insects. Um, 
Uh, when it comes to speed, yeah, there's uh, quite a lot of mammals which are faster than us, but it's not that we're particularly poorly specialised in speed, it's just that there's some other things which are very, very specialised in speed. We still, uh, you know, we still out can outrun uh, the um, virtually all birds, all reptiles, and all invertebrates. So we're we're pretty damn good in that respect as well. Uh, so no, we're not specialised, and furthermore, uh, we eat a wider variety of food than every other animal that I'm aware of. We use all sorts of tactics in order to get that food, um, and we've evolved to survive in virtually any climate. So and we can run, we can climb. We can swim. We are pretty acrobatic. We we can do a very very wide array of things. So no, we are not specialised. It's the fact that we're so unspecialised and adaptable which has led to our survival. When it comes to the strength component, we have another specialised skill, and as far as our physiology goes, and it's not that we're weaker we're weaker in terms of generating maximum force we absolutely our muscles even from our top trained athletes pound for pound our best athletes in the world with years and years of top level training and anabolic steroids are still going to produce slightly less force than another great ape with the same amount of muscle and the same muscle mass okay so i've already established that in the um, scientific data and the actual studies there isn't really anything showing apes to be particularly superhumanly strong. So I tried to find some actual examples of apes doing, uh, you know, doing these crazy strong strength tasks, and I've uh, loaded up the best examples I could. Uh, so here we've got that's a 400 pound um, silverback gorilla, 200 pounds, possibly even less female, but. Yeah, that's far from superhuman. I could certainly throw someone half my weight like that. Uh, professional wrestlers throw uh, people their own size. And he really has to spin 60 degrees in order to do that. Uh, if apes were as strong as you seem to think, he should have been able to throw her you know, 30 foot in the air. Uh, moving on, we've got pushing over a moped and pulling it fair, fairly well. Again, yeah, far from superhuman, there's guys who can lift twice that weight over their head. Um, a sumo wrestler versus orangutan um, in tug of war. Um, so this seems to be pretty strong evidence to a lot of people. However, I'm pretty sure this is just completely fabricated. The sumo wrestler they claim to be a champion there. I There's no record of his existence outside of this video. It's completely, it's completely bullshit. This video came from, um, you know, probably came from a time before people had access to the internet, before people could fact check. And it seems to be completely fabricated from what I can see. So that's really evidence of nothing. But the trade-off is that we have much better fine motor skills. Our ability to write and manipulate little tiny objects better with our fingers. Our ability to be far more gentle and finite and refined with little fine movements with light touch, which is everything from the ability to pull a trigger on a gun easier, to writing, to building a watch, to typing on your computer. Uh, the great apes do not have the finite motor skills to do those things because they're geared more towards strength and power which is going to help them more in their environment just being able to produce maximum strength instantaneously our ability to do little finite things has come at a price we have a different type of neuromuscular efficiency accordingly so we lose that maximum power and strength they have but with it our nervous system and peripheral nervous system has given us the ability to have far more controlled subtle finite movements those fine motor skills which allowed us to build tools. I think this is just ad hoc reasoning on your part. Uh, you, you're trying to find an explanation for a question which isn't even uh, particularly valid in the first place. 
so yeah, if it was true that apes had this ability to just go hun um you know were geared towards just going a hundred percent more efficiently than us, you'd expect their behaviour to reflect that. You'd expect to see plenty of, an ex of examples of apes going quote unquote ape shit, but we don't have any examples of apes um, you know, losing it and showing these insane feats of physical strength. You know, where are the examples of uh, chimpanzees flipping cars over? Where are the examples of them picking another ape up and throwing them 30 foot in the air? Where are you know, the examples of them you know, uh, bending iron bars in half which are thicker than any human could? There really aren't any from what I've been able to see, and if they've evolved to be able to do them, um, if they've evolved to do those tasks regularly, we should see plenty of examples uh, caught on film of them doing things like that. But we don't, and so from that, I can only only conclude that they're not as strong as people seem to think, and that therefore that argument about them being able to recruit far more motor fibers is invalid. You know, find find some scientific um, information showing that having lots and lots of nerves um, for fine control um, means that um, they can only turn on, say, 10 or 20 percent of those, whereas creatures with far less of those uh, far less of those nerves can go up to 100 percent. If you can find that, then perhaps you'll find some form, um, you'll find some argument there. Now, as for why um, apes do have less of those nerves for fine control, I think that it's just related to the fact that they don't have the mental capacity to, um, they wouldn't have the mental capacity to use those fine nerves that humans have, even if they did have them. So, yeah, for apes, they're probably equivalent mentally to a two or three year old and if you look at two or three year olds even though they have the uh, synapses and the nerves in order to control their bodies and um, and the way an adult would they haven't mentally developed those uh, they haven't mentally developed that fine control because um, you know they haven't got the mental ability for them to do that yet and um, also a large part of strength come, um, does come down to technique and it does come down to practice and again that is one of the strengths which humans have we have the instinct to be able um, to want to repetitively um, do the same task and to become as proficient at it as possible and of course that's one reason that someone like Richard Hawthorne for example can you know deadlift uh, so what's he doing? Nearly seven hundred pounds now, um, at one hundred and thirty-five pounds. It a lot of it comes down to practice technique as well, and that is another area which we excel at. So yeah, that's um, all I've got to say. If you have any counter arguments, uh, please let me know. If you have any examples of you know videos of apes showing um, this superhuman strength, which I've been uh, unable to find then please leave them down in the comment section as well. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.